Hi guys, let's read a book. Rupert Snowman, written by Philippa Warden, illustrations by Grace Ward. Now today is a special day because this is a new book. It came out today and we get to read it. I'm really excited. Let's get to it. Rupert Snowman. Snowflakes. It was Christmas Eve. A blanket of snow had wrapped the hills and fields that lay about the cottage. Look how cute. What a beautiful snow day. Rupert stood at the window, flapping with excitement. I know the feeling. Oh, fun snow day, Christmas Eve. Don't get me started. After breakfast, his mummy rummaged in the garage for the sledge. They packed a rucksack with a flask of steaming hot chocolate and some ginger snaps. <laughs> oh, a bug just hit my window. <gasps> I think he's okay. <laughs> Look at him peeking. I'd be stealing some of those ginger snaps. They wound their scarves around and around until they could just peep out and set off to the top of the hill. Oh my gosh, look how cozy they are. <laughs> Stopping sometimes to make a snow angel, the two made their way to the top. Rupert began to roll the fluffy snow to make the best snowman that had ever been built. It stood almost all, oh, it stood almost as tall as his mummy. Wow, that's a huge snowman. He's rolling, 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 and there's the snowman. Nice. They used stones for the eyes, nose, mouth, and buttons. They pulled at bare sticks in the hedgerow for arms. Hmm, it was missing something. A hat! <laughs> Rupert drained the last of the hot chocolate from his cup. Huh, I wonder what he's gonna do. Is he giving a sip to Mr. Snowman? He popped the cup upside down on the snowman's head. A dribble of cocoa looked like hair. It was perfect. <laughs> That's so creative. And then the cup is the hat. I love it. The snowman watched as the pair sledged down the hill, had snowball fights, and decorated the winter wonderland with angels. How fun. When it was time for lunch, they raced down the hill one last time. The snowman seemed to be waving goodbye in a slight breeze. Who will look after Frosty? Rupert asked, tears welling in his eyes. The birds, the mice, and the deer tonight came the reply.
<laughs> we can't leave him. And off he flew, racing back up the hill. He threw his arms around Frosty and whispered his plan. Together they rolled the last of the three snowballs onto the sledge. What are they doing? Do you guys know? Carefully laying the twigs and stones beside them. Is that Frosty? Rupert squealed as he rebuilt Frosty next to the apple tree. <gasps> They're back at the cottage. What a good idea. They're bringing Frosty home. He built a snow. <gasps> Woo! Excuse me. Allergies. He built a snow sister, a snow dog, and two snow kittens. Meow, 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 meow. Snow sister, snow dog, snow kittens. They're so cute. Just before he went to bed, Rupert looked at the scene, lit up by the flickering light of the log fire through the living room window. An entire snow family to keep Frosty company while Rupert waited for Father Christmas to arrive. Look at all of them there. The end. Rupert Snowman, written by Philippa Warden, illustrations by Grace Ward. Wasn't that so fun? A little Christmas spirit in September. <laughs> I'm ready for Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that new book and it was released today so you could actually go buy your own copy. So that's pretty cool. Get ready for the holiday season. I'm ready for it. I want a hot cocoa now. <laughs> Bye guys.